Foop Deitch. Foop Deitch. Listeners with some form of hearing loss, whether they use a hearing aid or a cochlear implant to try and understand spoken language, often have a hard time because the signal they're getting isn't as good as if they didn't have a hearing loss. So there's been a lot of research previously looking at sort of this bottom-up approach of how do we improve the signal quality for these listeners, and then from the top-down side of what sort of cognitive skills these listeners have that lets them understand speech. And the important thing that my lab is looking at is how do these two factors interact with each other? What does that auditory degradation do to a listener's ability to use their cognitive skills to be able to figure out what's being said? Hose chewed. We're predominantly looking at adults with typical hearing, and we're just having them listen to speech in either normal conditions or in conditions that are intended to simulate some of the information you get with a cochlear implant. What that comparison allows us to do is we can see within the same listener, so with, with the same brain, see how does that person respond differently when a signal is clear versus when it's degraded. What we then want to do is compare that to listeners who have cochlear implants and have had them for a while to see what sort of differences in performance, both in terms of processing speed and memory and ability to understand speech you get that aren't explained by the differences in the normal hearing listeners. If we can make these comparisons, we can figure out what's unique, say, to children with cochlear implants. What struggles do they have that are not something that you would see in listeners that have typical hearing? And how do we hone in on those issues specifically to try and help those kids? 